This is second grade Go Math Lesson 7.8, and we're moving into time. It is time to the hour and half hour. The directions say, look at the clock hands, write the time. So let's look at number one here, and I'll look at a couple different examples. Um, let's remember that the shorthand is the hour hand, so that's the number that will go first to the left. And then on the other side of the colon, and this is what a colon looks like, usually you see this on a digital clock. So this is kind of a digital clock what they've made here. Um, the minute hand is a long hand, so that would go on the right hand side. So if I'm looking at the hour, it's pointing at directly at three. So if it's pointing directly at, and th the minute hand is pointing right to the 12, I know it's three, and it's actually three o'clock because when the minute hand is pointing to the 12, that means there's zero minutes in that hour have passed. So it would be three, zero, zero, or otherwise known as three o'clock. If I look at number two here, I look and see, and this is a little bit different. I see the, the hand, the short hand, the hour hand is between two different numbers, the 10 and the 11. And whenever, um, whenever we have that, we always go back counterclockwise. We always go this way to find the actual hour, even though the clock is actually moving this way. So if I'm looking backwards, or uh, looking counterclockwise, if I went backwards, it would be 10. Now it's not 10 o'clock, but it is the 10th hour. And if my um, minute hand is pointing down at the six, I'm gonna start at the top. <laughs> and count by fives and go all the way down. So this would be zero minutes, just like we had here. We had zero minutes, because it's the beginning of the hour. So I'd start here. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Now if your child's just starting to learn about time, that would be a good way just to remember, just writing it out, it helps. So whenever the uh, minute hand's pointing at the six, it's always gonna be 30, after or 30 to 11. Uh, I'll do one more. One example that's sometimes confusing is when the uh, hour hands between the 12 and the 1. We're still going to go counterclockwise. Usually you would go to the sm number that's smaller between the two. The 11 and 10, 11, you go to the 10 because it's smaller and you're going counterclockwise. But in this example, the smaller number is 1, but if you're going that way, you're going clockwise. So we want to go counterclockwise. So we're gonna look, and this is gonna be 12. The hour is gonna be 12. Do my colon here, and it, once again, you see the minute hand is on the six, just like on the previous problem on number, um, number two. So if it's pointing at the six, just as you said before, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I have 12, 30.